What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Cody. This is Cricket 19 Predicts. We have fixture number six in the IPL. It's Kings 11 Punjab versus Royal Challengers Bangalore. So, who do I think is going to win here? Now, Kings 11 Punjab, I like that team. Uh, they've got a lot of uh, good players, and uh, they've got Mohamed Chami, who's a very talented bowler. But in RCB, if you look at their side, they've got superstar players. They've got Dale Stain, who's an amazing bowler. They've got AB de Villiers, the other Proteus International. And they've got Virat Kohli as well, who, well, I don't really need to say much about him now, do I? We all know how good he is. So they've got a really strong lineup. They did win their first game as well. It was quite a close one, a good comeback from them in the end, and uh, secured the... Uh, uh, the victory um, Kings 11 tied their game it was a very close game though and like I said Mama Chami was in spectacular form so I don't know I, I, it's a hard one to call but I'm gonna have to go with Kings 11 Punjab simply because I quite like that team and um, yeah do let me know who do you think is gonna win uh, as always do not forget to drop a like hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and let's jump into the video the right here we go the Bay International the Stadium is I'm where this game will take place Kings 11 Tyler. Punjab Vice versus Royal Challengers like Bangalore there are the two sides contest. Um, yeah, it might not match, obviously, with the real-life uh, lineups because there's no way for me to know what they're going to be. So I'm just choosing uh, the players that I think they're going to play. Kings 11 Pajafa won the toss, and Lukesh Rahul, the captain, have a decision to make. Will he bat first or ball? Well, he chooses to have a bat first. Dale Stain is going to be bowling the very first delivery to KL Rahul. Here we go, first delivery into the deck hard, but shot. hit hard by Rahul as well, and it's going to race away the boundary for four runs. Now then, short and wide, oh, he's tried to smash it away, but the kid, uh, he's played it to the slips, nearly got his hand to it. That was a good stop, though, because that was definitely going to be four runs. Chris Gale goes after the bowler, and that's going to be four runs for the Gale Storm. Has a big gun. Well, I think so, because now he's gone over cover. And just one bounce over the rope for four runs. Rahul on strike again, short. All right, he's got a top edge, actually. That might go, have gone all the way for six. No, it has not gone all the way for six. So it's just a four. It's a good shot off his pads, but that's a good shot straight into the hands of the fielder, which just automatically makes it not so good of a shot in the end. He's, he's gone for 11 of seven. Mayank Agarwal is an next batsman to walk into the middle. Oh, inside edge, and that's going to travel into the gloves of the wicket keeper and he will not make a mistake in that one. Josh Philippe. Uh, Nicholas Puran is the next batsman to walk in the middle. Just a great shot. And he start things off quietly with a couple, actually. Actually, Good not so quietly in the end then. I'm not entirely sure if that's out or not because I couldn't really see from this angle because the batsman was in the way, but I th oh, that's a very close one. He might be safe. I'm not entirely sure. No, he's gone. Yeah, that's the end of Nicholas Actually, that's that's a very close one. I think his bat is on the line, and I think he's out still. Yes, he is. It's a very close one, but he's gone in the end. There was a bit of a drama, by the way, with the running in the previous Kings Eleven game as well. And uh, I saw one of the owners quite upset about that. But uh, they should have referred it to a third umpire, in my opinion. I mean, why do you have all this technology? I mean, just use it. I mean, it's there to be used. But Agarwal is uh, doing really well. It's a lovely shot. It's a very clever shot. And the gap will race away to the boundary for four. We're into double digits. Agarwal will go. That's quite a good shot. Straight over mid on. And that's going to be four runs. One bounce over the rope. 16 he moves on to. Righty then, lovely hook into the gap, although it didn't really need the gap because that was in the air over the inner circle. And uh, well, Max will follow suit because he's gone over the inner circle as well and that's going to be four runs for him as well. Lovely shot off his pads. Square leg coming under it. Nope, that's gone for six. That's gone for a maximum. And there's another deep square coming under it. No, that's another six from Glenn Maxwell. Maxwell was pretty good in the game against England on international level. Not so good in the first game, though, in the IPL. But he's looking good here. Uh, 21 off 19. It's a very risky single. Oh, has he made it back in time? I think so. The umpire is going to refer to the third umpire just to be on the safe side. And he's back. Yeah, he's fine. He's all right, I think he's all right at least. Yeah, he's fine. He should be fine at least, I think. <laughs> Let's see. Um, 
the decision is not out like I that's a 50 thought it would be. Good and job. that's 50 run partnership up between these two. The Aussie International and the Indian International. Lovely shot from Maxi again. He's loving that area. That square field. Uh, all he's doing is just watching the ball sail over the rope. That was the third time right there that he's done that, Maxi. He's gone over the inner circle this time. I got a while, gets four runs. Uh-oh, what is happening here? Oh, the ball is rolling back to the wickets. He's gone. That's actually rolled back onto the stumps. The batsmen have made a huge error in not stopping the ball from going. Look at that. Yeah, he should have kicked the ball away before running. He didn't, and there you go. It hits the stumps, dislodges the bales, and that's the end of Mayank Agarwal. Oh boy, that, <laughs> that is quite an unfortunate way to depart. Look at that. I didn't even look at it, that's the problem. I, I feel if he had looked at the ball, he would have stopped it. And I like how the keeper just waited for the ball to roll onto the stumps. Didn't try to stop it because he knew there was a chance that they can get the wicket. Because Maxwell had already made it, so there was no chance of run out. So that was very clever from Josh there. And that's a lovely shot from Sarfaraz Khan for four runs. First boundary of the day for him. Yep. There he goes again. Wow, same shot. Well, similar shot. shot. Similar result. Double digits he goes into as well. A slash on the offside between Point and Gully. They'll race away to the boundary for four as well. Sarfaraz Khan now flick of the wrist so over mid-wicket. No deep mid-wicket. And so that will be four runs as well. 21 he's on of 16. Again, oh, he was loving that offside behind Point. You know, that third manish area. He's loving that. He's got so many Power runs so far there. Now he's gone behind square, and that's going to be four runs as well. Nearly hit it for a six, to be honest. Maxi gets a top edge, and he'll travel to the boundary for four runs. 48, he's on a 44 now. Shot straight to the field. That does not carry, but even if he had, if it had carried, don't think he would have hung on to it. I think he dropped that one. It's Virat Kohli, by the way. One of the better fielders RCB has. That's a good what shot. A I mean, good delivery, edge. not shot. That was not a good shot at all, but that was a good delivery. Unfortunately, Maxi will pick up four runs, century. and that's 50 up for Glenn Maxwell of 45 deliveries. Only lovely shot into extra cover fielder coming out under it. There we go. Picks it up. Oh, that's a risky one, and he's gone. Yeah, he's definitely gone. No need to refer that one to the third umpire. That's the end of Sal Faraz Khan. Yeah. He never yep, looked like there he goes, there. poor running in the end, getting a bit eager, a bit ahead of himself, and uh, yeah, gone, boom, dislodges the wickets, the bales, and uh, that's the end of uh, the dangerous uh, Sarfaraz Khan, who was scoring quite rapidly, 35 of uh, 29, had a couple of good hits, and that's the end of that innings, Maxi walking back to the dugout, 162 runs scored, now, like I keep saying in Dubai in particular, the wicket is such a that um, 162, states, although it might not seem like a very good total in India, but it is a good one in UAE. And I think um, RCB will have to uh, dig deep to chase this one down. Mujib Rahman is a very talented young bowler from Afghanistan, and they'll have to do some special uh, RCB, that is, to uh, chase this one down. 163 is the target. Here we go. First delivery. Mujib Rahman. And uh, he gives up one run, I believe. Yeah, that's just going to be one run. Getting on with it. Second delivery. Oh wow! I like that shot. Padikal. Nice Padikal. Is that how you say his name? Padikal. I don't know how to say his name. Let me know how to say his name. Lovely shot over cover nice shot. from Aaron Finch. I don't know how to say that name. And first boundary of the day for Finchy. Nice and also shot, RCB, one. lovely shot on the onside this time. He's, uh, oh, that one's not stopping. That's gone to the boundary for four. But he cut now. What a cheeky shot. Has he got all of it? No, he has not got all of it for it to go over the row for six. But it will go to the boundary for four, though. He's a very similar shot to that. Gets four runs all the same in the end. 18, he's on of just 10 deliveries. Lovely shot straight down the ground. That's like a solid hit. Go ain't stopping that one. And with that, he goes on to 200 strike rate, thick outside edge. Well, with that, he's going to actually go over 200 strike rate, which is quite impressive. It's a lovely shot. Very good shot over point, and that will race away to the boundary for 432. He's on now. Now he goes over extra cover, and there'll be another boundary for him. 36 he moves on to now of just 19 deliveries. There he goes again, once again going over 200 strike rate. It's looking very dangerous. 
scoring it well here. Oh, Max, he tried to smash that one over the umpire's head, but instead he smashed it straight into the hands of Chris Jordan. Virat Kohli is the next batsman to walk into the middle. Lovely shot. Nope, not a lovely shot at all, actually. That's gone back to the wicketkeeper. Lakesh takes a lovely catch, and that's the end of the skipper. And uh, ABD is the next batsman to walk out to the middle. Lovely shot That's from Padikal. Padikal? Padikal. Padi uh. 44 he moves on to. Uh, lovely flick of the wrist. There's nice a fielder shot. on the rope. Will he stop it? No, he will not try to get to it. Couldn't really. It's a lovely shot out of the gap. And he just needs two. And yeah, he's got two already. So that's going to be 50 up for uh, Padikal. And uh, very good very innings. Nice He's uh, batted field, quite field. aggressively going at over 200 strike rate. 212.5 to be exact. 51 of 24 deliveries. Very good from him. I uh, love to see him play. It's a good shot from De Villiers off his pad. Six runs. Lovely. 103 yards. Oh no. Is that going to be another one of those? Yes, it will be. We have another wicket, uh, which is quite unfortunate for the batsman. Again, the ball rolls back onto the stumps, dislodges the bales, and that's the end of a very good innings, by the way, from Paddy Khan. And uh, yeah, again, not, not even looking back to the ball, not realizing the ball is going to roll onto the stumps, or he would have obviously uh, moved the ball away from the stumps. Joshy is the next batsman to walk out to the middle. Lovely shot from ABD into extra cover he goes, and that's going to be four runs. Uh, he moves into double digits. Chris Jordan, oh, that's quite a good shot from Josh. It's going to be four runs. First one's out here for Joshy. Uh, he's come off of boundary as well. Lovely shot. Now, that's a typical ABD shot, and it's cleared the inner circle as well. For a moment there, it looked like the fielder might take that catch, but no. It's a good it's delivery in swing in Yorker, which is something is Chris Jordan though. is known I for. Think right. Don't think it's in line, though, for that to be given out. It's definitely gone on to hit the stumps, but the impact well is not in line, shot. which is why it's been given not out. out. Are they actually going to review this? I don't think they should. Going for the oh, yeah, they are. They've okay, lovely. One, so they need no bat involved. Impact outside of off, like I said, line. ball is definitely going to go on to hit the stumps, but that does not matter. Impact is important. And so it will be given not out. I don't agree with this impact rule, but you know, it is what it is, it is rule, and so we have to follow it. Here we go. Jordan back into the attack. In swing in Yorker, like I said, that's a specialty of him. This time he gets a wicket with it. Love that seam presentation from him. Josh is gone. Not having trouble is scored by all that much. Just six runs. Shivam Dube is the next batsman to walk out to the middle. And first delivery is thwatted that one away over the fielder and over the road for six runs. 106 yards long six outside edge. Well, he's gone off the third delivery he's faced. It's the end of Shivam Dube as well. Gone for just six. Washington Sundar. There he is. Beautiful Washington. <laughs> We're going a bit of room. Lovely shot over cover. That's going to travel to the boundary for four. I think it will. Yes, it does. First boundary, four runs. Uh, now he goes that on the onside into mid wicket ish sort of the cow corner area. It's going to race away to the boundary for four as well. It's a very risky shot. There's a fielder coming under it as well. Lands short. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's a very risky single. Ah, well, he's gone. That's a direct hit. He's gone from side on. Seeing only one wicket from the boundary rope, and he has got no chance there, absolutely none for the batsman at the bowler's end. Look at that. The umpire was not looking, as you can see, his back was towards the stumps, so he had to refer to the third umpire, but that was quite clearly out. Omesh Shadav is the next batsman to walk in the middle. ABD is still out there. He's the last hope for RCB. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. RCB, here we go. Omesh Yadav knows how to bat as well. He's uh, hit a boundary off the very first delivery. We'll make it two. He's hit two boundaries of two deliveries. This is very good stuff from the tail end. Huh? Oh, swing and a miss. Gunski. ABD has gone for 32 of 27 deliveries. And uh, now things are not looking. Look at that. It's just about grazed the off stump. Nearly missed it. Dale Stain comes out. Stain gun. Lovely shot into cover. 33 required of 23 deliveries. It's going to race away to the boundary for 29 of 22 now. 
It's a lovely shot into the gap as well. That's going to race away as well to the boundary for four. Nine, he's on. Oh, that's a very good shot as well. 22 runs required. Fielder will cut it off, though. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Direct hit, and it's run out. And it is a direct hit, and so it is a run out as well. There he is. He's not even going to refer it. Even though he wasn't looking at it, he, he was looking at it in the screen. I guess the screen is that way, and he saw that. He was clearly out. How much shimmy there. Getting hold of the ball as well, although he didn't really need to. Sheldon Cottrell, who was the man who threw that one. Again, amazing throw of deep sign. You know, things are not looking too good. Oh, 20 of just eight, and I think that's the end of uh, Dale Stain as well. Going for the switcheroo, that's quite a risky shot, especially from someone like Stain Gun, who is, uh, well, not really a batsman now, is he? 10 runs he scored. Yuzvendra uh, Chahal, who was very good with the ball in the last game. And, well, Saini tries to take the baller on. Oh, my goodness, that's a drop catch. Okay. Well, that's definitely going to help uh, RCB. Well, I guess not so much because they need 16 that runs in one delivery. And although that's going to be a four, not enough in four. the end for RCB to win this game. That's a no ball. Come on, Shami. Magulapi Paji. Don't do that. Anything but a no ball on the last delivery. They still need a lot of runs, though. They need 11 of just one delivery. As long as it's not a no ball, I think he's fine. Yeah, he's not got all of that. That's going to go into the hands of the fielder, but it doesn't matter because it's a free hit. And in the end, they have lost by quite a few runs, just eight runs, a very close game. And uh, there it is, Chris Jordan gets them out of the match for his lovely bowling spell. Three wickets of just 27 deliveries. Do let me know who do you think is going to win this game. Like I said, King 11 Punjab is going to win, and they did win in the game, and I hope they win in the real life as well. Do let me know who do you think is going to win in real life. And uh, yeah, drop a like if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Do consider becoming a channel member. Thank you everyone who have become a channel member already. And uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...